Welcome to the Unreal Engine 5 and Vice tutorial series. I'm gonna start building a project from ground zero and show you how to install Vice in Unreal Engine 5. First of all, by the time, Unreal Engine 5 is still on early access, so don't expect blazing fast implementation in general. Open the Unreal Engine 5. Under Games tab, choose third person, include starter content. By now, it doesn't matter to choose Blueprint or C++. You can leave it like that. But don't worry, this series will cover both Blueprints and C++. Then name it and create it. Like I said, we will build it from ground. Go to Marketplace and search for City of Brass. This is the package we will work on. I find it beautiful and premium looking. But in favor of next videos, I think City of Brass covers a lot of things. Trick 1. This asset doesn't support UE5, but it isn't really a problem. At the project, enable show all projects, then find the project we created, Sensity for me. Then select the highest version you have, and add the project, voila. Test time. Open the project and find the package we imported. I am planning to work on Palace version, but other ones aren't really so different than that too. It has nice square, some stairs and passages. Could be great to implement many. Maybe I can add some NPCs around later. We will see. Trick 2, and it's a bit long. You can't just hit the button that implement Vice plugin into Unreal Engine 5 project. But we can install manually. It has some extra steps, but if you can follow the video, it will be seamless. Also check the link below, I'll put an audio kinetic official link there that explains the steps. Click the drop down menu and choose as an engine plugin 1. Choose the highest Unreal Engine version you have, then download it somewhere you can find later. Now open both file locations, the project and the engine plugin we downloaded. In project folder, create an empty folder named plugins, then open it. Then copy the Vice Engine plugin as folder and paste it into the project's plugins folders inside. Open the folder we pasted, then open Vice.u plugin with text editor. Change engine version to 5.0.0 and save it. Inside the same Vice folder, create another folder named Third Party. Go back to the Vice plugin. This is not the one we downloaded, the one we have before. You can find it by the version name at the end. Open the specific version you want to use, preferably the latest, then open SDK folder. If you don't have SDK folder, go to the Vice launcher. Modify the device version you have, then download SDK. Copy include anything starting with x64 and Mac. I don't have any Mac builds of Vice, so just x64s and include folder for me. Then paste them into plugins Vice third party folder we created. You can open the project now. It was confusing, but we made it. I hope you made it too. A Vice settings message will pop up on the screen when the game opens. Hit yes. You can see VA API picker on left tab already. But we still have some stuff to do. Open the project settings. Scroll down to Vice section. Installation path should be the plugin you have earlier. You can notice this by version name again. To be sure, you can select or change the directory to different version. I also enable asset synchronization and auto via API connection. Go to integration settings and enable event based packaging. We are almost there. 
actually the integration completed. But we don't have Vice project still and it should be connected too. Let's create the Vice project. Go to Vice Launcher under Vice tab. Choose the same version you choose in project settings and launch it. Rest is simple, just create the new project and save it. Back to the project setting. Vice project path should be the Vice project we created couple seconds ago. All is done and well. Vice speaker shows the content. Empty but exists. Connection test time. Open Vice Launcher. Under Unreal Engine tab, you should notice the project now has two open buttons for UE and Vice projects. Open the Vice project and create an empty event to see in game. It grabs instantly. That's why I love AI API, but you still need to generate some data. It might confuse people time to time. Connecting doesn't mean data is flowing with it. You can also find these structures in content folder. Control space, then voice audio folder under content. And the event is there. Alright, that's it for today. Next time, I'll start implementing sounds and using them in C++ and blueprints. Till the next time, have a good day.